So in this video, we're going to talk about the aging face. Okay. Is there any solution? Can you actually slow down this process? Unfortunately, it's inevitable. Uh, everyone is going to age, uh, but if there's something we can do to slow it down, uh, that would be a very good thing. Uh, some people have accelerated aging. Other people don't. A lot has to do with your environment, which I'm going to touch on, as well as the strength of your ability to recover and repair. There are certain nutrients that are really necessary in the repair of your DNA, and that relates to how fast you age. But typically what happens as we age, we start getting these horizontal and vertical lines or wrinkles on the forehead, between the eyes. You'll notice that the skin, uh, especially on top of the eyelids, starts becoming very, very thin, almost paper thin. You can see it on the cheeks as well. There's loss of collagen. There's a loss of elasticity. The ligaments that support the skin to the face uh, are atrophying. They're shrinking. The fat on the face starts to atrophy and you start losing that and it starts to sag underneath the eyes right here. You may also notice a dark circle underneath the eye as well. And the tissue on top of the eye and the eyelid starts drooping. You may also notice that the fat uh, layer underneath the cheekbones uh, becomes atrophied and you start sagging tissue and so you lose your cheekbones. So you have the sagging eyebrows and the lids, dark circles, even bone loss around the face, around the jaw and the teeth. You potentially could also lose the fullness around the lips. And there's also a very thin, kind of like a sheath muscle called a platysma underneath your, your neck that becomes atrophied and you get that turkey gobbler appearance. I think I'm actually starting to get that myself. But other than the wrinkles, the sagging skin, the dark circles, and that little turkey gobbler appearance, you're doing fantastic. All right, so let's just kind of forget about that for a second and talk about what can we do to slow this thing down, okay? Well, there's really two things happening. You have the breakdown of tissue, and then we have the building up of tissue, okay? And I'm talking about proteins at the cellular level. So you have the oxidation or the damaging of proteins. That can definitely come from smoking. Uh, smokers tend to age prematurely. And then there's people who get excessive amounts of sun, including sunburns. Some sun is good, too much sun could uh, age the skin. Then you have the chemicals that are put on the skin as well as in your foods. And I know a lot of women put up just layers of makeup on the skin on a daily basis, and then they take it off. You just wanna make sure that those chemicals are non-toxic. Then you have alcohol that will age the skin and certain medications and recreational drug. And then you have sugar and junk foods and refined carbohydrates. Uh, those will definitely age your skin uh, probably more than anything. And then you have stress. Okay, on the flip side, what do we do to counter that? This is what you should focus on. Regular exercise, okay? Regular exercise that will counter this. Regular exercise will provide a lot of oxygen to the lungs, to the tissues. It will slow down the aging process, especially on your face, because it's gonna drive blood flow into the tissues. Fasting, very, very powerful. I've done other videos on this. In fact, I'm gonna put a link down below. But fasting will do two things. It'll increase your antioxidant network to counter some of this stuff right here. It'll also kick in and turn on certain genetic factors that help something called autophagy, recycling old damaged tissue, especially protein, and giving you new tissue. It'll increase stem cells, especially if you do periodic prolonged fasting, to actually help your body replenish uh, old cells so you have less wrinkles. Also, fasting helps your blood sugars, and right there, that's gonna actually reduce oxidation. Now, consuming antioxidant foods are a must, and that would be these things called vegetables especially cruciferous vegetables. Now there's other antioxidants in other foods too, like seafood and grass-fed meat and eggs as well. But here's the thing, when you talk about DNA repair and the nutrients required for DNA repair, um, these are the key nutrients that are essential. And I put some of the research down below. Vitamin B3, okay? Now the way that you become deficient is by drinking a lot of alcohol or sugar, or, or also consuming a lot of corn will cause a deficiency of B3. Do you realize that the consumption of corn from the 70s to now has increased by 3x? That's crazy. 
So we need B3 for DNA repair. Also magnesium, very necessary for DNA repair. You can get magnesium from a lot of vegetables, leafy greens, things like that. Zinc, very necessary for DNA repair. Shellfish, seafood, sea kelp, oysters. Folate, very important to prevent DNA damage and protect the DNA. And this word folate comes from another word, uh, foliage, which is vegetable. So you get folate from vegetables. And then DHA, which is an omega-3 fatty acid. It's in salmon, sardines, cod liver oil. And then you have vitamin C. Always make sure that you get it from a natural source. Vegetables will be a good source. All right, it's very simple. Focus on increasing these and decreasing these. If you haven't seen my other videos on aging, check them out. I put them right here. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.